Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you a small experiment uh, that you see how strong are neodymium magnets, the magnets I used in the my generator. Yeah. So and I will tell you why exactly we need these magnets and not normal ferret magnets because the, 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 these are much stronger. You will see now. So let's get to experiment, not to waste the time. So what do we have here for the experiment? We have the neodymium magnets like the small one you can buy in the store. We have the neodymium magnets out of the hard disk. You can every hard drive has these magnets inside. And we have the normal magnets, ferrets, like you have one for the fridge when you with the notes, smaller and bigger one. And we have the steel nuts. We will try to experiment how many steel nuts can pull the pull up the normal ferret magnets and how many steel nuts can pull up new demium magnets. So let's get to the let's get started, yeah? We will put new new demium magnets by side for just a moment. So let's try with the smaller one. Okay. If we try to we will go one by one. One two three four Five, six, seven. Ah, okay. So, uh, ferret magnets can pull pull up uh, seven steel nuts. Yeah, not bad if you ask me for the small ferret magnet. Yeah, which you have on your fridge. For leaving the notes. Now let's get to the neodymium magnets. So I don't know which grade I don't know which grade are these neodymium magnets. I don't know have the information for for this one from hard drive and this one I bought in the in the store. But I think they are M40 something like that. Yeah, and um, and you will see now what's the difference. So let's get. I will use both of these because you know I want to have the same volume uh, of this magnet in new DNA magnet. So this would be a real comparison. The volume, if I put these two together, yeah, yeah. And now we will try to pull. So these two together, I like this one in volume. So let's try to push up the nuts with new DNA magnet. So let's get started. Opa. This is one, two, three, Four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that means 13 magnets can be pulled up by neodymium magnets. Let's try one more time. Here, up, up, up. and this one. Up. So this is th even 14, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Two nuts, oh one has fallen down. So 14 nuts can be pulled up by small neodymium magnets. I don't know the real grade of them. So it's it's really really strong. So let me explain you. So let me explain you a little bit about this neodymium magnets. So uh, we saw that 14 magnets can be uh, pulled up by small neodymium magnets. But now let's describe this force a little bit, yeah? So you will see. So if I want to describe you the force required for uh, the, the magnetic force, how strong they are, I will explain it this way. So if we use the ferret magnets, which are weaker, of course, and I want to separate them, let's say, hop, hop, okay, I need maybe one kilogram of pulling force, yeah? So it's it's really really weak if you ask me. But still they can pull up many magnets. But if we use the small neodymium magnets, yeah, 
So let's try to do that. Yeah? So no, no, vertically I cannot do that, but maybe yeah, if I slide them, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, but vertically maybe if I use the the complete set of them, ten, ten of them here, let's try to separate them. Yeah. Okay, I did. Huh? It could be like 20, 30 kilograms maybe to separate this <laughs> this small members. Yeah, the pulling force is really enormous. And if uh, if I explain you, so what can happen? So it's, it, can, it, can, it can be dangerous, because when you're working with the real magnets we have on our generator, yeah? if they're N52, 50 times 25 millimeters, they're so strong, yeah, you can hurt yourself if you're not, if you're not careful. Uh, they come separated, when you order them, they come separated with plastics, so that you can easily separate them yeah? for the installation. But uh, if, if I would want to measure the pull for separation of these magnets, because they, yeah, they attracted to me while I was working, uh, it's enormously. Yeah? The vertically you cannot separate them, I can tell you, only with sliding, yeah? only with sliding and by the table. But you will still need 50 kilograms of pulling force, and this is really, really strong force or 500 newtons, I speak in kilograms to be easily, but it's like 500 newtons to separate these two magnets which we have in generators. And let's talk about, let's talk, let's talk a little about uh, the magnetic materials. So we have three types of magnetic materials, there are ferromagnetic, paramagnetic and diamagnetic materials. So what's the difference? So ferromagnetic materials are the ones which can retain magnetization, like iron for example. If you if you magnetize them with magnets, they will they will hold magnet, magnet magnetic force a long period, yeah. But they will demagnetize in time. And uh, another one is paramagnetics. In this, we have the the platinum and aluminum. They are weakly attracted, not so strong like the the, the, the iron, yeah. The platinum and aluminum, but they are attracted. And we have the diamagnetics, which are strongly repelled, so that you can put well, it's like you're using the steel to steel, yeah? It's nothing, it repels completely. The, the copper and the uh, carbon, yeah? But they are the best for the conducting of the current. But I will explain it in separate videos. So, let's, uh, let's return the case. So, with the ferret magnets, we can pull seven steel nuts and with Houdini magnets we can pull up up to 14 steel nuts so this is how the how strong is the pulling force of Houdini magnets thank you for watching the video until next video have a nice day